you join me on the conservatory floor for the first weekly vlog of 2022. I just don't know how we've got here, guys. I, I started weekly vlogging in 2016, and there's not really been a week that I've missed, and it's now 2022, so like, I just really feel old. <laughs> like, since the start of the year, I've become very aware of the fact that I am 23 this year, 24 next year. It's just disgusting, frankly. I feel old, and I know I'm gonna get loads of you being like, I'm 28, I'm 38. Um, I don't mean that 24 is old, I just mean that I feel old. Anyway, weird start. Welcome to the vlog, it is January the 4th. I am in my comfy clothes, that's how you know that I mean business. Might not see the link, but like, comfy clothes means a whole day in the office for me. I have a lot of editing, a lot of admin, a lot of work, a lot of that January kind of stuff that I really have not done for like two weeks, so I'm talking like emails, finances, editing, um, just content that I haven't paid any attention to. And also, I am about to help my mum take down the Christmas decorations. It's a very sad day when the tree comes down. Yeah, welcome to the first weekly vlog of the year. I hope this year is gonna treat us all a little bit kinder than the last two have. I have a good feeling about 2022. In fact, I'm gonna insert a clip from New Year's Eve. I spent New Year's Eve with Eve and Liv, um, but I didn't vlog it. I just didn't vlog it. But I did film this one clip. This is how I brought the new year in. This was filmed at about 10 minutes past midnight. And that is how I know that the vibes started off correctly. Here you go. Hello, Mr. Perfectly Fine. How's your heart after breaking by? Always at the right place at the right time. See, it was just a good time. It was just a good vibe. Everybody was, everybody was thriving. Everybody was having fun. I was having a laugh. I just felt like 2022 got off to the right kind of start. So I've got a good feeling about it. However, in the same breath, I don't want to jinx it. Time to take the tree down. It is time to say goodbye to the Christmas tree for another year. <laughs> Mum's booing. It is a sad day when the trees come down. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ta -da. Yeah. So we are watching Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. What a shock. <laughs> Guys, Tom and I are out on a walk and we're just about to bump into my mum and dad with Lossie. She hasn't realised yet that it's us, but I think once she does, watch this. Ready? Lottie! Yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Stop! Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Today is the first day that it has been like freezing cold. So I'm pretty sure right now it's about zero degrees. It's the first day like all winter that it's felt like winter. And I was not prepared for it when I stepped outside. So we've both got our little hats on. Feels like it's hit really quick. Yeah. I think New Year's Day or New Year's Eve was the hottest Yeah. Yeah, it was so, like, like 15 like, degrees. <laughs> now we're in hats again. It's awful. Global warming. Um, but yeah, we look like gnomes currently. You sound like you're clinking around like wine bottles in yeah. you. These are dear to us. <laughs> Tom's got his little bag of cheer to us. Uh, because we, you gave me them. We had some left over from Christmas and nobody really wants this flavour. Also, did you know you've got your hat on sort of wonky? Does it have a front? Yeah, it has a front. That's not the front, that's the side. How do you know? Because it has a funny shape on your head. Which way should it be? I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Better. Yeah, that's better. Welcome to the vlog. It is Wednesday now. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, I filmed a morning routine this morning. Uh, it took me back to my 2014 YouTube days, but I'm trying to get back in the swing of like working after Christmas. I find like work-life balance difficult anyway because my work kind of is my life. Um, and I think after Christmas, I just got out of the swing of like editing because I kind of took like a week off over Christmas. So I hadn't edited for a while. Um, just like deadlines and stuff that need doing but I kind of just lost my motivation which is why I filmed the morning routine because I thought if I tell myself I'm gonna film it I'm gonna have to get up and do it um, which actually really helped I also went to the gym and did a workout I'm gonna try and stick to that I, I mentioned it in the morning routine I want to like I don't it's not even about getting fitter really I just want to implement it into my routine so that it's like a habit um, and not even like a workout, even just a walk. To be honest, I'd probably rather go on a walk. I prefer walking to working out, but obviously it's not always the best weather in January. Yeah, I'll keep you updated on that in the weekly vlogs. But now it is Wednesday lunchtime and I'm actually going to get my nails done because I've had these nails on for about a month. I don't even like them. In fact, I actively dislike them. They're like 
gold sparkly. I think I liked them for the first two days I had them and then I was like, I don't like these nails very much. So I think I'm gonna get black because if in doubt, get black nails. Matches everything, looks sophisticated. Always better when they're done by somebody else because if you try to paint your own nails black, it always looks a bit of a mess, unless you're really good at it, which I'm not. And I feel like January is a pretty depressing month. I don't want colourful nails, I want black. It reflects how I feel. Joking, I'm just sick of this colour. So I'm going with my mum into Beverly. I've got a few errands to run as well. I need to go to the post office. I need to post some stuff. I need to post a gift. I need to buy a birthday card. Just like bits and bobs, you know. You know how it is. This lighting is pretty good. I am um, back home. I didn't vlog anything. I've got really out of the habit of vlogging. I had like one week off and I've just forgotten how to do it. So I do apologise, but... I mean, you really didn't miss anything anyway. You can't vlog while you get your nails done because, shocker, you need your hands. <laughs> I got black, like I said I was gonna. I just think, like I said, something so sleek, so effortless about having black nails. I'm out of breath from running up the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's what I was gonna tell you. I was gonna tell you this last night, actually, but I just went to bed and forgot. Currently, I am watching The Tourist on BBC One. Let me know in the comments if you're watching it too. Um, if you're not, it's really, really good. I really recommend it. It's on BBC One, like I just said, but it is all available to stream on BBC iPlayer, so like, you don't have to watch it as it goes out live. You can just watch it all together, which is kind of how I've been doing it. been watching it with my family, and I love it for a multitude of reasons. One, the plot's great. You don't know where it's heading at all. Like, it's, it's so, like, mind-twisty that you just can't guess the ending. I love a show like that. Two, it's Jamie Dornan. I love Jamie Dornan. He is incredible in the fall. He is also obviously in Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, I don't actually know what else he's been in, but I love him either way. Um, thirdly, it's set in the Australian outback. And although it's not really a picture of Australia at its best, I still love an Aussie accent. I love an Aussie cast. It's just really, really good. And I thought that I would share it with you because I said on my Instagram at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna share my book recommendations and my TV show slash film recommendations a little bit more because I'm quite an avid reader and also quite an avid TV viewer. Like I will watch pretty much anything. Um, so yeah, The Tourist on BBC iPlayer, really recommend. My Christmas bedding has gone. My stars and moons are back. This is from Urban Outfitters. I always get loads of questions. Yeah, they do actually still sell it because I saw it in Urban the last time I was in there and it comes in this really cute little bag as well if you did want to buy it. Um, off piece a bit there but you know you get the general gist i picked this up in mns guys just as like a quick tea because they've got their new vegan collection um i think actually this has been around for a while but they've got loads of new bits and bobs for veganuary so i'm just gonna have this for tea because this is kind of what i fancied i picked it up and i thought yep yeah, i fancy a thai curry this is quick this is easy and it's still reasonably healthy i was gonna say reasonably healthy maybe it's not reasonably healthy but oh well it is very nice because i have had it before when oh, it's two of your five day speaking of thai food i know that that is sort of like a cheat meal i do actually have this cookbook that I got for my birthday and I do want to use this maybe probably not this week I don't know if I want more Thai food this week but maybe in next week's vlog I might cook something from this because I haven't really used it yet I've had a look through it kind of like marked out the ones I think I'll like but I haven't actually haven't used any of the recipes yet but like this cookbook it's just amazing that is a lot of recipes if you haven't heard of Rosa's Thai cafe it's like a chain restaurant so I'm pretty sure a lot of these will be like meals you could get there I should use this I do know that I am aware this is the finished product guys I think it looks pretty good I think it's got like sweet potato some kind of lentils broccoli jasmine rice obviously a Thai green curry sauce and then I've also got a little naan bread yeah pretty happy with that mmm I look great. January is a month where I always end up wanting to have sort out, organise everything, clear everything out. I've been meaning to do this for a couple of days and then this morning a charity bag came through the door and I thought, God has sent me a sign, I need to clear my wardrobe out. And I thought, I'm going to vlog this as well because not only then does it hold me accountable, I have to do it, but also I feel like you guys love a clear out and organisation. I love watching people organise their life, it makes me want to do that. My issue is, <laughs> and I've literally just realised that even within this video I've done that, I am a proud outfit repeater, as everybody should be. I literally wore this in Tuesday's section of the vlog, didn't I? I'm pretty sure. My issue is, I also do like getting new clothes and as part of my job I've definitely tried to cut down and I definitely have cut down but I do still get new clothes but I don't I, I quite like to hoard old clothes because I have an emotional attachment to them for example I have a lot of clothes in my wardrobe that actually just don't fit they're either too big they're too small but I'm not like for example I can see this top here this top is too big for me it was kind of too big for me when I got it I've lost a bit of weight since since I got it and because of that the shoulders just do not sit on my shoulders it looks silly but I'm like, oh, but I wore this on a date with Tom in Bristol. So I don't want to get rid of it because it has that memory attached to it. But then I'm like, babes, it literally doesn't fit you. And somebody else could wear this. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to create two piles 
of Depop and Charity because there are some things that are just like I wouldn't I wouldn't want to sell them on Depop they're not good enough quality or like you know when you've wore something a lot and it goes kind of bobbly I'm not gonna sell those it's just not worth it so I'm gonna pop those in charity bags same with like shoes I have a lot of shoes that are just like for example where did I find this pair of shoes look at this I bought these boots right in year nine how old are you in year nine 13 I'm 22 now I don't think I've worn them since school. I haven't worn them since school. I've still got them under my bed. Why, I hear you ask? I don't know. Um, but they're really worn, they're dirty, they're creased, they're dusty. These are going in the charity bag. So that's why I look like this. I haven't got any reason to get ready today. I'm not going out. The hair is in a bun, which means I mean business. I'm gonna crack on with this task. It makes me feel productive to have clear outs. It makes me feel like I've achieved something. I fear that I've bitten off more than I can chew. The good news is I've got rid of like half my wardrobe the bad news is now i have to do something with all of it like my floor right now i'm literally not joking it's just clothes upon clothes upon clothes there's going to be a lot a lot on my depop i probably will not have done it yet this is a job for like the next week or so listing stuff on depop takes ages because uh, you have to photograph it all but i'm proud of myself i've cleared a lot of space what i don't want to do is just fill it again though like i want to buy a few pieces there's a couple of clothing bits that i've had my eye on for a while but not loads i just kind of want to have a bit more space to be honest but look at this i mean i've just got really into it i've been listening to a podcast and i didn't even realize that like an hour and a half has passed I've just been like going through every single thing I've ever owned and I've actually lost the charity but oh I found it <laughs> okay good funny to me like what am i doing so it has taken me ages not only to get this film developed but to put them in my album so really sadly i think the film that i used oh for god's sake you're joking me oh that's so annoying i'll find four photos to put in there um i think the film that i used in my camera over my birthday was out of date because all of them have turned out really really dark like these are the best of a bad bunch some of them are really really dark um and you literally can't make it out and also half the photos just didn't take so i don't really know what happened to my film however jenny used a proper film camera and gave me the photos from my party and they just turned out so good so i've just got around to organizing my photo album and to be honest i took a lot more photos on on film in 2021 than I thought I did. I think then we skip into March. Yeah, we do March, April. I didn't take that many photos. Yeah, I think I think we're in April now. Yeah, we are. May, are we getting into May? Are we in May? I think we're in May. These are really cute. Yeah, we are. June, oh my gosh. These photos, love these. Don't know where that photo is. I think I took it out to put it in a frame. Don't know what I did with that. These are like from Brighton. And then I didn't use a film camera. There was quite a big jump after like this time period. I actually got these printed why the colour is so so much better I think this year I might get photos printed instead because although I love a film camera I do forget to take it out with me sometimes I love that it looks more authentic though so I don't know I'm a bit torn maybe I'll just do both um, but yeah I just thought I would show you this this is like my 2021 on film um, I'm just jumping in here before I like I have filmed another clip for this video but I wanted to put this in because I have just set live on my Instagram the first giveaway of January basically I am doing four weeks of giveaways so like a giveaway every single Friday evening in January for two reasons one January sucks um, and two, I thought it would be nice to give back to you. I just feel like, you know, January can be quite a hard month and I really want you to know that your support really doesn't go unnoticed. I am incredibly aware and incredibly grateful that you guys enable this to be my job. Yeah, basically I just wanted to show some love. I just thought it's a nice month to give things away. People struggle in January. I know myself, I've mentioned it loads. I don't love this month. Motivation is low. It's winter. There's not a lot going on. Um, so I am currently holding a £100 Gymshark giveaway. It's so easy to enter. All of the info is over on my Instagram. The giveaways are going to be predominantly Instagram giveaways. Like that's how they're all going to be done on Instagram. So if you don't have Instagram, I'm really sorry about that. However, I am going to be doing other giveaways on YouTube within vlogs and stuff in the like upcoming weeks and months. I kind of have so many things that I want to do like to give back to you guys and it's definitely not all going to be on Instagram because I do know that some people don't have that platform but I am really sorry this one is. 
I think this is a pretty good one to kick it off because obviously they are a gym brand, but also they have like loungewear, hoodies, joggers, comfy clothes, also like gym wear, sports wear, stuff like that. So I just thought it was a good versatile option for the first giveaway in January. I will link it down below. I've waffled. Basically, I was just saying, hi, I'm running a giveaway, go and enter. That was waffly and long. <laughs> Back to me from earlier. I have actually just been filming for a video that I'm gonna upload next week. Wow, I've been screen recording to like sit alongside that video. Six gigabytes worth of screen recording. Are you joking me? Yeah, I am gonna end the weekly vlog. I am actually dressed and ready guys. Look, I straightened my hair and everything. Even though I literally told you in my video the other day that I'm trying to not use heat on my hair. I hope you've enjoyed the weekly vlog. It was chatty, it was laid back, but it was the first of the year. And as I've said so many times, I can only hope and pray that my vlogs this year are gonna hopefully become a little bit more exciting, a little bit more entertaining. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have the most lovely weekend. Enjoy whatever you're up to. Enjoy your Saturday when you watch this. Why are my eyes watering so much? Sometimes when I film under this light for ages, my eyes start watering. Do you know what I mean? No, probably not. Anyway, <laughs> basically, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.